We also need to look back, and I think the, the simplest example that we can use right now um, is just the 2021 local government elections, right, uh, where we saw the lowest voter uh, turnout um, ever, and ANC's national share of the vote dropped below 50% uh, for the first time. Um, and we saw that voters that previously voted for ANC chose to withhold their vote instead of voting for a different party. So the election showed that the ANC's pool in politics is being decentralized in some ways, and perhaps that creates some so, sort of holes in politics for us, right? For civil society, for everyday citizens. And so what opportunities does this present to us, right? Those are the things that we need um, uh, to start thinking about, especially as civil society. We've got this pool, especially working at community level, um, and we've got the trust of the community members that we live around. Citizens is a solution. As activists, we must have a delegation of, of civic society to say, we go then them in their sittings and convince them, right, on what what decision that they, that they can take, but not not participate in their like in in in, in and like be members. We we'll use our vote as a trade-off. That is to say that the state must, I mean, respond to our demand. Then once they respond to our demand, then we know that we are ready to give them the vote. That speaks to the, to, the, to the program of action from now till the, vote day, the voting date. Let's use what we have. For instance, let's use ads to campaign. Because ads, you can get a message through. It's easy to, 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 to send a message through ads, like music, like poetry like those dancing, like acting. And also, you must also be consistent. The five demands that comrades have highlighted, employment, housing, land, education, and quality public services. And threats, um, the, co or the context that we can expect this year are things like fake news, misinformation. I heard um, the youth cohort speak earlier about that, about telling our own stories uh, using our own mediums, right? Um, another threat would be continued, this continued dysfunctional coalition governments leading to poor service delivery and governance. And then um, there's a need to ensure that democratic institutions like the INC maintain their independence and capacity, right? And, and their transparency, uh, which is part of the work that My Vote Counts do and many other organizations do. Um, I think it's very important, but also the civil society working in our own different thematic areas and spaces, when that comes together in the greater picture, right? If we've got um, a single, like in this space where we create uh, uh, strategic objectives and then we go on to our own organizations and we say, how do we reach this uh, 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 objective based on our own objectives of what we deal with in the different thematic areas that we focus on. This moment also calls for civil society to consider all the threats and possibilities in order to be able to adequately prepare for any possibility, right? And most of all, civil society um, to consider the new environment within which we operate now. So what was made clear during the convening itself is that civil society's com uh, commitment to convening, facilitating these dialogues and conversations about the quality of democracy in South Africa and the willingness to work to together um, our common goal and we all have this understanding that we can improve citizens lived experiences no matter their race their gender their age so we haven't given up and that's a good thing that's the good thing about South Africans right um, <laughs> we don't give up um, but I do think that the collective agenda is that of using the elections to then center people's demands um, organize mass voter turnout uh, protect the ele uh, integrity of the electoral electoral process and then lastly think beyond these upcoming elections so that we can build an alternate uh, political way of thinking and doing.